what's new team queen heavens welcome back on the channel welcome back my family and i'm grateful to see you again and if you're new here and you want to join the family you know what to do you just subscribe today i'm going to be talking about a very sensitive topic and the topic is intimacy <laughs> so stay here to watch I'm gonna be saying what I think. You can also give me your opinion. It's not a crime. I mean, when you tell me what you think about it, it's not a crime. You can just type it there and let me know. I wanna see what you people think about it. According to me, um, I have a feeling that the size of the boy does not matter. The boy, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you talk about the boy, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> so according to me, I feel like the size of the boy does not matter neither does the size of the girl matter but what i think about that is that as long as both of you have a communication together and as long as both the boy and the girl are able to communicate positively together i have a feeling everything is going to be okay as long as you know how to use the boy and she knows how to use the girl i think that is all what matters because there are very many people with a very small boy but still they do the work very 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 big, very good and the people with a very big boy but they actually can't do anything you know what i mean so i think the boy of the size of the boy the size of the girl do not matter in intimacy what matters most is how do you use the boy and how do you use the girl that is according to me and also i think that both partners need to put in the same energy the same energy i mean there is need for both of you to do the same thing together like it is not about like, okay, I am the woman, I'm supposed to be submissive to my husband, okay, let me lie down, and this is what is going to take place. No. I think that both of you have to put the same ex the same effort, the same energy, the same concentration for this thing to be perfect. According to me, that's what I think. I feel like there is need for both of the partners to contribute. You know what I mean? And to contribute on what they are doing. Like, put in an effort and let the woman put in an effort and communicate during the action. Like, say what you feel and he, she, she says what she feels. And both of you, if there is an extra need for anything, then say it out. I mean, don't just keep quiet and wait for whatever. And then after that, you complain and say, he doesn't do this for me very well. Or she's not doing this perfectly. I mean, no one is an angel in this game. And no one was taught this game. Like, we just grow and start doing whatever we do by our own selves and there is no school for this i mean people talk about whatever they feel like their own opinion about things but i think it's between the two of you it is only you that make it perfect that's what i think because every person every human body has a different spot that has a feeling a different spot my spot could be different from another person's spot so it is about the both of you contributing to this game like this is what i want and this is what i want can we try to do this and can we try to do this can you go here and can you go here i mean that's what i think I think like it's necessary for both of you to be communicating. And the other thing I also know that this one I just know it. I think it's a very, very correct thing. I know. Um you can never do anything to stop your partner from cheating. You can't let it be a woman, a man can never do anything to stop a woman from cheating on him. And a woman can never do anything to stop a man from cheating on him on, on her. Because according to me, I think it's not about the intimacy you give each other that makes one cheat according to me i don't think it's about what this woman can't give you or what this man can't give you according to me that's what i think because to me i think that is not the key that leads a person to cheat because <laughs> you someone can really relate to this because sometimes even when you do all the styles you do everything that you're supposed to do for this guy he will still cheat I mean that is it and even if you cut it off and you pack for him in the car or in the bag and tell him baby please go with it he will still put it aside and cheat the same applies to the women you can have a man or her husband who is doing everything for you and everything and this guy is having the biggest boy you want or the, big, the, the perfect size that you want is providing for you and giving you every single thing but you will still cheat so cheating is just a choice according to me it is not the intimacy that both of you have that makes someone cheat and something that i really feel it's important to talk about is it is very important if both of the partners appreciated each other after intimacy i think when you appreciate your partner after intimacy it's, it arises their feelings and the urge to do it more and the next time that's what i think i think it's very necessary and if you don't and you just like finish whatever you're doing and then you just fall off and then just go mind your business it looks like you're both using each other the same time is i think um every every woman every lady 
has water. Did I say it right? I don't want to use that word. <laughs> but let me use it. I don't think there is a woman who doesn't have water. I think every person has a slippery place. It is just there. It is not about the boy. It is not about the person. But it's all about you, the woman. If you only focus on what you're doing and put in the feelings, because this water comes from basically what you feel inside for this person. That's what I think. That's my opinion. I don't think even if you have a partner who has a very big boy and he knows how to do everything, that will bring out the water. I don't think so. I think you, a woman, will have to be the one to put in feelings and concentrate on what you're doing. Because according to me, I feel like this is something that you just have to feel from the inside. And when you have this thing and you're doing it like with the whole of your soul and the whole of the concentration i think the water will just come that's what i think i think so and maybe the communication between you and your partner and another thing that i think about intimacy is there is it is very important for both of you to be clean that's what i think because i think that when one of the partners is not clean it puts them off like totally off the mood totally dies like if uh, maybe the woman is not clean enough and there is a certain scent that is coming out of them, of course, uh, the man will have to think otherwise about the action. And same goes to the man. No woman wants a man who has salt on the, on the body and the body is a bit salty and a bit, what do they call that word? That word that you know. I don't think anything is going to happen if two partners have that kind of thing on them. If your body is salty, and they're not clean and if the woman has a certain scent and if a man has a certain scent that is not actually natural okay every woman and man have a natural scent in that part there is that natural scent that god creates us with but then there is this other scent that comes with it if it's not clean i think it's very important both of you to keep the hygiene that's my opinion still I don't know what other people want. Maybe other people want it dirty, like some people said. I think you should better tell me in the comment section and let me know what you think about intimacy. That's my own opinion and thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Love you.